What a morning. All right, guys, so here's what's going on right now. We are starting off the day in a mad rush. Reason being for that is in about three hours time, there are gonna be some gnarly storms coming through and I gotta make sure I get my fishing in before that. Now, a few days ago, I put up a poll on my social medias, um, my Facebook, Instagram, and the YouTube channel itself asking you guys what you guys wanna see as far as a catch and cook. The options were sunfish, trout and bass oddly enough the bass took it by a landslide between the three social medias and i tell you what i'm all for it with that being said i am recording this intro in the truck because we are rushing we are on our way i even forgot my uh, one of my gopros but it's going to be a crazy day but i got a good feeling about it because usually when you start stuff off crazy like this it usually ends up pretty rewarding so I know I do have my drone, I do have two of my cameras, so we're good enough to make a video and we're going to go and catch some bass. Hopefully we'll get a couple of keepers. Um, my mom also wanted some bass, so I'm going to probably keep like two or three today. I'm just going to take one for myself and then give the other two to her. And then we're gonna think of a recipe or something and just try to make like some bass tacos or something. I don't know yet, I'm just throwing it out here. I have no idea what we're gonna do with it, but we're probably gonna do the cook portion either later on on the deck or we might do it tomorrow when the skies clear up a little bit. So with that being said, I got about a half an hour drive to my spot. So I'll see you guys underwater. We'll try to catch a couple of fish. We're probably gonna have an hour and a half or something like that. I don't know, but I'm excited. Let's do this. Alright guys, so we finally made it onto the water. There is some cloud cover, but it doesn't look like it's going to be raining anytime soon. Well, at least not in the next hour or so if I were to predict anything. So we are on the water. We got a beautiful, beautiful view in front of us. Um, unfortunately, I don't have my chest cam, so you guys can't see what's going on in front of me. But hopefully the camera up on top is going to be able to show you guys a little bit of the stuff. So we are here on this beautiful, beautiful lake right now. It is absolutely filled with lily pads. We're going to be doing some top water fishing and we are not going to waste any time. We're going to start right now. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using my favorite top water lure of all time, which is this Stanley Ribbit top toad over here and i usually just absolutely annihilate the bass when it comes to top water with this lure absolutely love it this is the last one i have so i gotta order some more this thing is beat up but it still works amazing all right guys so we're actually coming up on some pretty cool spots right here there's a lot of cover i see oh i saw a ripple behind the frog that was definitely a bass but he didn't didn't commit all right there was definitely a bass there but like i was trying to say guys we are coming up on a pretty cool area there's a lot of cover Ooh, fish on we got our first fish of the day ladies and gentlemen yes yes we got a jumper we got a jumper nothing huge nothing huge should be a perfect theater size because we don't want to keep any huge bass boom we got him yes that's definitely 12 inches 12 inches is the freaking limit here in new york state guys and we are on our first bass of the day heck yeah actually since we're doing a catch and cook this is like the perfect eater size right here first of all hang on guys oh easy buddy let me show you this guy absolutely choked this frog stanley ribbit top toad right here ladies and gentlemen this thing is an absolute monster now look at this thing guys this is about a 14 inch bass right here this is a good looking fish healthy looking fish and you know what since we are doing a catch and cook this is going to be the perfect eater size i'm probably going to be keeping like three maybe four i don't know my mom she wants she she wants bass she wants a couple so i'm going to do that i'm just keeping one for myself and uh yeah i mean i'm just i'm excited this is this is going to be so cool <laughs> all right guys let's uh let's keep on fishing all right ladies and gentlemen i just moved up just a little bit there's some heavy vegetation in front of me and there's some good cover there's a couple of stumps in the water i'm gonna cast smack in the middle of that that seems like oh like it's gonna hold a bass and as i was saying that i got one on the line ladies and gentlemen oh yeah 
Oh yeah, got to be second bass. Second bass. All right, all right. This one's this one's smaller. Um, let's see. Let's see if it'll get us to the 12 inch mark that we're looking for. Uh, let's see it. Let's see it. Yeah, that's definitely 12 inches. That is definitely going to be 12 inches all day. This is right here from my thumb to the tip of my pinky is eight inches. So yeah, that's like 12 inches on the dot. This is freaking awesome. We got our second keeper of the day. Yeah, that's insane too because guys, two casts, two fish. Heck yeah. Now again, this video, um, I, I am actually targeting these smaller guys because I want to keep the smaller ones, not the bigger ones as we established just a little bit ago. So heck yeah, got another one. Yeah. Whew, that's awesome guys, that's awesome. In the last two casts I've made, I caught two fish. Heck yeah. And you know what? A lot of thanks goes to this little lure right here, the Stanley Ribbit Top Toad. I mean, this thing is absolutely phenomenal. We're floating around right now, and I don't know if that camera up top is catching it, but we got a sweet spot right in front of us. Got some stumps coming out of the water. We're casting right, right in the middle of that because it looks bassy. And guess what, guys? Just had a massive blow up. Gosh, I really hope the camera saw that. All right, guys, so we weren't having too much luck fishing the bank for the last 20 minutes. So I kind of moved towards the middle of the pond. Now there is just falling trees and branches everywhere. And we, oh, that's a good one, guys. That is a good fish. That is a good fish. Oh man, he's under the kayak. Come on, buddy. Oh my God, he just broke my rod. He just broke my rod. He just broke my rod. This freaking monster broke my rod. Oh my gosh, guys, what a huge fish. But oh my God, he broke my rod. No freaking way. No freaking way. Oh my gosh. Absolute monster. Absolute monster of a fish. I cannot believe it. Caught him on a broken rod. This guy's got to be about six pounds or something like that. Oh my God, guys, look at this thing. That is such a huge fish. Wow, wow, wow. I almost don't feel bad about the rod being broken. God, that's such an expensive setup though. Oh my God, that's my Cast King Speed Demon setup and I can't believe it. Oh no. Oh my God, can you guys believe this? Look, look. Jeepers, Cast King Speed Demon. Down the freaking drain. Oh my God, I am so upset right now. I am so upset right now. That was such a good ride. All right, let's get our asses back to shore. <laughs> All right, guys, we can't forget about the purpose of the video. The purpose of the video is to do a catch and cook on bass. Well, we got the bass, we did that. Our fishing trip was cut short by about an hour and a half because I hooked up on a damn good bass it wasn't a monster it wasn't a complete monster but it was a good bass and i guess he hit the pressure point on the rod on the spine and just right and the thing just literally snapped in half as you guys saw that sucks but we are going to be going home right now i do want to do like an outdoor scenery type of catch and cook i don't want to do one of those videos where i take it into my kitchen that's boring now. on top of that my kitchen's dirty all right so it's going to take me a while to do the whole catching thing but you guys are going to get to witness it in about two seconds so here's that cool transition Woo. okay now we are back here at the house as you guys can see behind me we are at the jack fish in the state right here ladies and gentlemen and i got some uh, special guests with me today for the cook portion of this video say hi guys hi and that's our newest addition to the family right there that's jace say hi bubba that's totally his way of saying hi but we are here today enjoying this beautiful day and right over there guys yep that's right that's our setup that we're going to cook the bass in so right now i'm going to take the camera over here and show you guys what i've been doing all right guys so i had two fillets from the little bass i cut them into bite-sized portions right here right now it is currently soaking in water with salt and then right over here guys okay we have a bag and the mixture of that stuff actually consists of paprika salt flour black pepper little bit of adobo 
and just a little bit of Old Bay. So I mixed it all up together. We're gonna just drain the water from the bass fillets right now, the little bass bites, if you will. We're gonna pat them dry, we're gonna throw them in that bag, we're gonna give it hell, and then we're gonna deep fry it, <laughs> yeah! All right, so first thing we are gonna do, we're gonna take these little bass bites right here, we're gonna pat them dry with a paper towel, get them, I mean, they don't gotta be bone dry, obviously, we just wanna get that excess water out of it, and we're just gonna dump them right in here, and we're gonna do that with every single piece. All right, so we are down to our last piece. That's what we got right here. It is nice and dry. We're gonna take these nice little pieces and we're gonna transfer it over into the Ziploc bag with the ingredients. So here, why don't you hold this for me real quick, bud? I'm just gonna dump these in there, just like that. Get out of there, yeah? Make sure we get every last piece because I got a feeling this is gonna be delicious. So now we're just gonna take this bag. We want a little bit of air in it. Okay, it's nice and tight. Now, I need you to grab this like this, bud, okay? And just go crazy, shake it up, like a maniac. That's right, ah! There you go, that's how you do it. <laughs> All right, so now that my son shook the heck out of these little bass bites, I mean, look at that right there, guys. That is coated beautifully. And now we are just giving it a couple of minutes for the oil to heat up and we're gonna start frying these things up. I am actually pretty excited. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we have our bass bites right here. We're gonna open this bag up and we are actually gonna start to throw these things right in. The oil looks nice and ready. All right, so here it goes. First one in. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at it sizzle. That is looking like it's gonna be a good time right there. Woo! I can already see all those flavors just in that color. This is gonna be great, ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys, so we got these things going right now. I mean, they are gonna be done in just a minute or two here. They're already catching good color. I'm excited. All right, guys, they look like they are almost done, these bites. So what we're gonna do, we are gonna go ahead and dump them in our little bowl. We're gonna have to fight the urge to eat them right away because we gotta let them cool down a little bit. But, man, this stuff looks good. What do you guys think? Take a look at this. All right, so that, these bad boys are definitely ready to come out. We're gonna take them out, dump them in here. Woo wee, that looks good. That looks good. It's funny because this seasoning and everything, it actually makes it look like little cracklings. That's gonna be awesome tasting right here. I can tell you right now. Just look at how good that looks. Oh my God. That looks like a little bass crackling right here to me. And oh, I just wanna eat it right now, but we gotta wait because it is hot, so we're gonna give it a couple of minutes. And then who's gonna do the honors? Who's gonna go first? Okay, they're both gonna go at the same time and I'm gonna go second. I can't wait to see what this tastes like. I mean, this thing just looks so good, guys. Oh my God, take a look at that. Heck yeah. All right, guys, so we are all sitting down here underneath this beautiful tree in the shade. It's a gorgeous day. And we got ourselves a pretty cool bite to eat. So we've been waiting about five minutes. Seems that these little bass bites have cooled down. Are you guys ready to try this? Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> All right, go ahead, take one. Try a smaller one so it's not too hot. There you go, buddy. Go for a smaller one so it's not too hot. And whenever you guys are ready, go ahead, try it. Let me know how it is. Three, two, one. Oh my God, you took the whole piece. <laughs> That's good. What do you think, bud? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, all right. All right, I'm gonna try one now. I got this little one. Mmm. Oh man, that's good. That really is good. All right, I'm not saying this just for the video. This actually does taste really good. I'll tell you what, with this recipe right here, I will definitely consider catching bass and keeping it again. It actually is a very tasty fish. And I'm gonna tell you guys real quick what I did. So step one, you guys wanna take the bass fillets, cut them into bite-sized pieces, and then you wanna put it in salt water for about half an hour. After that, rinse it off, pat it dry with a paper towel, deep fry them, and the seasoning you're gonna use is you're gonna combine flour, paprika, black pepper, little bit of adobo, and a little bit of Old Bay seasoning. That's all it is. Then you just mix it up really, really, really good in the bag, 
deep fry it and then you have these little golden nuggets that are absolutely amazing so what do you guys think <clears throat> it's really good should we start catching bass and keeping them of yeah. course <laughs> I think we're going to keep the occasional bass here and there. This is absolutely amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video even half as much as we enjoyed eating this bass. And if that is the case, if you did actually enjoy this video, please make sure you give us a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, share the video out with your friends, and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. And until next time, guys. Tight lines. That's right. Tight lines. Woo.